I get that. And, and and songs like Every Dog and Boy Who Cried Drunk and Good Taste in Whiskey sort of don't paint a great picture of your dating life before Mitchell. Was it hard oh. because you were in the music industry or was it hard because you were just looking for boys you thought you could fix, as you say, in Good Taste in Whiskey? That's the one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, you know, again, going back to you know, blood from a stone and, and, and my whole relationship with my mother, you know, unfortunately that relationship, um, really set the tone for all the other relationships in my life after, before I really started healing. And, you know, unfortunately it, it conditioned me to believe that abusive behavior was normal and yeah. that it was okay. And, um, it conditioned me to believe that I should stay with people that were hurting, that were hurting me because it was my responsibility to fix them. I was, I felt responsible for their emotions, for their well being, because that's how I was with my mother. I was very parentified by her. And so, you know, um, it did unfortunately lead me to a lot of toxic and abusive relationships with men. And I can't, I'm not saying it's all her fault. You know, there, there's definitely, I, I take, you know, responsibility for that as well. I think some of that just comes with the territory of being young and in your twenties and wanting excitement and wanting the, the bad boy. I mean, that's that regardless of my mother, I mean, that's an old trope of, of just women wanting to find the bad boy and be the one that he changes for, be the one that, you know, that fixes him.